Hey guys, what's up? My name's Alicia. As you can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to go ahead and be busting in to my July Ipsy bag. Now, when I'm filming this, it's the 14th of the month, and I actually got this yesterday, so it came to me earlier this month than it normally does. It hasn't been shipping until like the 16th or 17th of the month, which is like the last day that they can ship it. So I'm happy that it finally shipped a little bit earlier. Now, if you are not familiar with Ipsy, it is a monthly subscription and there are a few different levels. So there's a basic glam bag, which is a smaller makeup bag and it comes with more sample sizes, like deluxe sample sizes. Then there is the Glam Bag Plus, which is the one that I'm subscribed to. That one is $30 a month and then with tax and everything, $32.39 is what actually drafts my account. And then quarterly, if you're subscribed to the Glam Bag X, I think that one's $50. So again, that one is only quarterly. The main subscriptions that you're choosing from are the Base or the Plus. And then if you do the Glam Bag X, that's only quarterly and then you wouldn't get the other bags, if that makes sense. So just an overview if you're not familiar with it, but this is what the packaging looks like when it comes to you. And I was actually pretty happy with this month's bag. I thought it was pretty cute, if I can get it out. All right, so this is the bag here. Now each month you can choose a few different items. So um, some items they choose for you, some items you can pick yourself. All right, now for everybody that is just here for the unbagging, I'm gonna go ahead and unbag everything, show you all the items, tell you the value of everything, and then I'm gonna go into a tutorial and kind of demo these products for you. All right, so each month there is a theme, and this month's theme is Soak It All In. Now inside of this card, there's just like some little SPF tips. There's no like product information on here. If you want to get product information, you can either get it from their app or their website. But yeah, just a cute little card. Um, all right, so pulling out of this bag, this is the first item that I'm pulling out. This is from Complex Culture, which I think is a brand by Ipsy, honestly. Um, but this is just a little blush duo. This retails for $30 and this was an item that I picked. Another item that I picked was this Vamigas. This is a, oh sorry, I guess I was holding it upside down. This is from Vamigas and this is a rose infused lip oil duo. This retails for $28. And everything in this bag is full size, by the way. Now, this is a brand, a, another brand I'm not familiar with. This is Araceli, and this is a tequila highlighter. And this retails for $24. And then from Wander Beauty, finally, a brand that I, like, recognize and know. This is the Glow Ahead Face Oil. Now, I got this in, like, a BoxyCharm box probably a year or two ago. So, this is not, like, a new product. Um, but yeah, this is a nice little product to get in the bag and that retails for $42. And then from Murad, of course, I love getting anything from Murad, but this is the oil and pore control mattifier, broad spectrum SPF 45. And it's supposed to be 10 hours of oil, shine and pore control. So this retails for $48. So as you can tell, you're getting like a mix of makeup and skincare. I mean, you could argue that this lip oil is skincare. This could technically be skincare. So I feel like I'm only really getting two like actual makeup items, this blush duo and the highlighter. As far as Ipsy is concerned, this is probably my least exciting bag that I've gotten from them in quite a while. Last month it was BoxyCharm. I was not very happy at all with BoxyCharm. This month it's kind of Ipsy, but we'll see how these products look whenever we apply them. Um, the total value of this bag is $172. And like I said, it drafted my account for right under 33. So I mean, I'm definitely still getting the value even just with this SPF moisturizer. So we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, now in the demo portion, we are going to go into more kind of like specifics on these items, just so you've got a little bit more information of what we're working with here. 
So the first thing that I'm actually gonna go in with is this Murad. This is an acne control, oil and pore control mattifier, broad spectrum SPF 45, holy hell. <laughs> Such a long name. But I will say if you're not familiar with Murad, I've, there's no like bells and whistles to their products. They're very like basic. What you see is kind of what you get type deal. I mean, the packaging is, you know, nothing to nothing to get excited about really. This is 1.7 fluid ounces. So kind of like a typical moisturizer size. Again, this is $48. And the good thing about this is that it was created by a dermatologist and a pharmacist, which is Dr. Howard. Murad, hence the name. So this is good for very sensitive skin. Anybody that normally like would break out with SPF or anything like that, Murad is a brand that I would definitely recommend. This has avocado and African yellow wood bark extracts, which to be honest with you, I have no idea what specifically that does, but that's in here. Um, Murad is a cruelty-free brand, so if you're trying to go cruelty-free or you only use cruelty-free products, this is a brand that you could use. But this is a very well-known brand. It's very respected in the industry, and I love that it has SPF because your girl has started using some retinol, and you guys know you have to have <laughs> some SPF when you're working with retinol. Okay, so... I'm just going to really slather this on. Now, I will say a mattifier is not really what I need. I have a very dry skin, so I would prefer to actually use this oil all over my skin, which you can do, um, but I'm going to use that in a different way today. But yeah, I thought this would be the best way to use all these products together. Now, this smells, honestly, it smells kind of like if you've ever smelled a fresh lip balm, like Fresh the Brand, um, it smells kind of like that. It's got like a light lemony scent. I love the scent of it. I love the way it feels. It doesn't feel heavy at all. After you get everything rubbed in, it doesn't feel like sticky. Some, you know, some moisturizers can have like a tacky feel to it. I don't feel anything like that. It feels really nice. It's sitting on the skin nice. Like I said, there's no bells and whistles to this. It is just something good that you can feel good about putting on your skin, created by a dermatologist, that is not going to break you out. So, there you go. Alright, next up, I'm going to try out this Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Face Oil. So this is what the packaging looks like here. Super pretty. I'm actually a fan of Wander Beauty. I have like a little bronzer and blush duo from them that I like went through so quickly. Like once I started using it, girl, I did not stop. Um, but I'm trying to find my foundation I'm gonna use with this. This product is kind of like a multitasker type of deal. You can use it as a serum, just like a glowy kind of like primer serum type deal. You can also use this to mix in with the foundation to kind of lighten the consistency. Like if this is, this is like a mask like foundation. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in there to make it more of like a skin like glowy type of deal is what I'm gonna go for. Or you could even use this like tapping it on the high points of your face after you've done your makeup as like a highlighter. So that would be similar to the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Dew Drops. So same type of concept. So there's many different ways that you can use this and that I do like about it. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this heavy ass Il Maquillage Foundation. Now this thing is full coverage. I will say that if you are looking for a full coverage foundation, look no further. I do have a video on this. Um, I'll have it linked down below just in case you're interested since I'm mentioning it, mentioning it in this video. But I really like something a little bit lighter, especially in the summertime. So I'm just going to put a few little drops, maybe just two, I'll start with two drops. But, I mean, I like the little applicator on this, too. I think it's super pretty. 
All right, so here's what we're working with. And I'm just gonna kind of mix this on the back of my hand. I think maybe I'm gonna add one more drop. I don't want it to be too thin in consistency, you know what I mean? Um, but I want it to be a little thinner than where we're at. Okay, so I feel like that is nice and glowy. And we're going to go ahead and start applying this. Now, I used to be somebody that was like full on, just wanted full coverage. These days, I'm liking stuff that's a little bit lighter, um, that just looks like a little bit more skin-like. All right, I pulled you guys in a little bit closer just so you can kind of see this foundation application. It is actually nighttime when I'm filming this. I just, I could not wait to unbox this for you guys and get it up. Sephora recently released a, um, it's a new Sephora favorites and it is the creamy dreamy set or something like that. So it's like a bunch of cream products, which if you guys have been paying attention to the videos I've been posting, I have definitely been into creams these days, but um, I picked that up and I was super intrigued by it. That will be coming. I also already have both of my BoxyCharm boxes. Those came in the mail today. So if you guys see this, let me know down below which one of those videos you would like to see first. All right, so this is definitely giving a glow. Um, normally, like there would not be this sheen on this foundation. It's a very, very matte formula. So I do like that. All right guys, so I am just checking this out in a mirror up close. And I will say it definitely did make the coverage of this foundation go down. Like these little bumps right here, you would not see any redness if I didn't mix in um, that oil. Also, like you can see this little dot on my nose. So it definitely did decre decrease the coverage of this foundation, however, I'm really liking how it's sitting on the skin and how it just looks like my skin. So everything's kind of evened out, but um, definitely some stuff still peeking through. I'm going to see if I can build it up. Like I said, I would probably prefer to use this as like a glowy primer. But since we were using that mattifying uh, lotion, I figured those were kind of conflicting things. I think going forward, I would definitely probably use this as a glowy primer. For the most part anyway, but I mean, this does look nice. Um, the way that this is sitting on my skin. All right, so there is that product there. I do really like it. Um, again, nothing like mind blowing, but I do like that there are multiple different ways that you can use this. So, and I do want to mention too, on top of using this as like a foundation mixer, to lighten up foundations, using it as a serum for like priming and just moisturizing your face or as a highlighter. You can also use this like on your lips and on your cuticles, if just dry areas of your skin, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and put this oil on my lips just while I'm getting ready. All 
I don't smell any fragrance with this either. Just if you are sensitive to fragrance. Feels nice on the lips. I'm going to go ahead and let this be moisturizing my lips as well while I do the rest of my makeup. I'm going to go ahead and hop off camera, do as much as I need to, and then we are going to jump back into the rest of the bag. All right, guys, I'm back. I've got on a good bit of the rest of my makeup, and I wanted to give a shout out to this mascara because I am loving what it is doing for my lashes, and I love this packaging. It's from Rated R Beauty, which is an indie brand. Um, I will have this link down below in case you're interested, but I will have like a full brand um, tutorial with this coming up, so stay on the lookout for that. All right, so next up from our brand is actually this highlighter from Araceli. This is um, a tequila highlighter, it says. It has got agave in here, which is supposed to give you kind of like that lit from within type of a glow, which is one that I personally love. This is in shade Blanco, and I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now, again, this is not a brand that I'm familiar with at all. I don't think I've tried anything from this brand. I don't think. Um, but this is the packaging here. So inside you are getting a mirror. I'm going to go ahead and remove that cover. And then you do got your little sheet protector there. Now this is what the actual shade looks like. It honestly looks a little bit dark, which I'm worried about. But I'm going to go ahead. Ooh, it is super creamy. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a swatch of this. All right, so here is the shade there. As you can tell, this is kind of deep for my skin tone. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a we'll give it our best shot. That's really all the information that Ipsy had about this highlighter. So we will just go in and see. I definitely think that this is emphasizing my texture, like a texture that I didn't even know I had right here. It is bringing out. So, I mean, it definitely is creamy, but right off the bat, definitely not a favorite. It's going to be a no for me as far as for the face. Now, I think this would be gorgeous on the body, especially like this shade if you're anywhere near my skin tone I think it would be just phenomenal and it is just a little bit dark for my skin tone like you can see when it hits the light it looks good but when it's not hitting the light you can definitely kind of see like a little shadow but yeah I think on the body this would be beautiful if you have darker skin tone I think that this would be gorgeous on you, um, but, you know, like I said, it is bringing out some texture. I mean, you can see it for sure. But look at that on the body. Gore gorgeous on the body. So, um, when I continue to use this, it definitely will be, like, on my shoulders. Because on that, it looks amazing. Would I buy a highlighter just to highlight my shoulders? Probably not. Um, but I can still make this work and still get use out of it. But yeah, cheap kind of cardboard packaging. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't feel super cheapy, but it doesn't feel like extremely nice either, if that makes sense. Like it's not the cheapest packaging, but yeah, this just isn't, it's not a favorite for sure. Next up is a blush duo from Complex Culture. Now, I have never tried any of their products, I don't think. I don't think I've tried anything from Complex Culture. Maybe a lipstick back in the day, but I will say I liked the packaging of this. It feels really nice. You've got a nice sturdy plastic packaging. It looks very, very sleek. Love that. Um, you are going to get fingerprints all over this, so... Um, it's got a very nice mirror in here. You've even got like the little instruction sheet in case you want a subtle glow or a total glow. Um, and this little duo that I got, if I didn't mention, 
it is so chill and glow rush those are the shades that i got and this is what they look like here so this is so chill and then this is glow rush and here are what those shades look like there very very nice super creamy i love this shade you guys know i love a good peach um but yeah i think we're going to use both of these colors today all right so first off i think i'm going to use this darker shade kind of more towards the back and then this lighter pink i'm going to put right on the apples that is definitely pigmented isn't it I do like too that you're getting a more glowy blush and then you're getting a more like satin type blush as well. I think these colors will work together nicely or on their own. I mean, you could wear these separately, but I think together these colors really will look nice against one another. All right, now I'm going to go in with this pink. And honestly, when I'm looking at these two colors, this is the one that I get the most excited about just because usually pinks like this really kind of just make you look like alive and healthy and all of that. So I'm just kind of smiling and putting this right on the apples. Kind of even bringing it close up to my eye. Does that not just look soft? I think it just looks like such a soft glow. I honestly am really liking this little blush duo here. So far out of everything I've tried, this is the best. And... I should mention this brand is vegan and cruelty free as well. Let me just throw that in there. All right, now from the Migas, this is the Rose Infused Lip Oil. This is a Latina brand. And basically, basically the deal with this brand in general is that it's supposed to be really simple, clean products and they're naturally derived botanicals from Latin America. So that's just kind of the overall feel with this brand. Now, specifically in here, there is a legendary serum called Rosa Mosqueta. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's got vitamin A, vitamin C, omega-3 and 6 fatty acids. This is fragrance free. And basically these lip oils are just supposed to give you a hint of color. So inside you are getting two different shades. Obviously, I, gravi I gravitate towards this one because it is peachy pink, my favorite. But here they are there. I am going to go ahead and swatch these. I'm not sure, you know, if any color is actually going to show up. Ooh. All right, so here is the first one. All right, so it's just kind of like a sheer red. And this one is called Valentina. All right. And then next up is this one, which is the one that I'm going to be using today. And this one is called Sophia. All right. So as you can tell, this one definitely is more sheer for sure. How about for the sake of this video, I will throw this one on just to see how much color this actually has. So it does have some color. It feels really good on the lips. So that actually just ends up giving me like a little flush to the lips. I actually really like this color once I have it on now. Um, so I think I actually am going to keep this shade on. 
Um, the other one, it hasn't changed with like the pH levels of my skin or anything like that. So um, I think that this one is just going to look more of just like a clear type of gloss. But this one definitely did give a little hint of color. So we paid $33. Do I think we got our money's worth? Yes, I definitely think we got our money's worth. Having said that, am I excited about this box? No, not really. Um, this was kind of a dud box for me, honestly. I mean, in the questionnaire, I put that I have dry skin. I got a mattifying lotion. I will give this to my daughter. Um, I do like the face oil. I will say that I really do like the face oil. I like how it made the foundation sit on my skin. Um, I like that you can use this on your lips, you can use this on your cuticles, you can use this as a serum, you can use it as a foundation mixer, you can use it as a highlighter once you have applied your foundation. You just tap a very tiny amount of this on the high points of your cheek. It'll just give you that dough, not doughy, dewy <laughs> glow type of a look. Again, similar to the Glow Recipe Watermelon Dew Drops love that product. Um, so I love how multi-purpose this product is. So I do really like this product as well. Is it something that I am excited about though? No, but it is a nice product. The lip oils, they're nice. I mean, it would be something good to just kind of throw in your purse and throw on, you know, when your lips are dry or whatever. This one, I could even see putting this on while you're doing your makeup because it is like a clear type of a gloss. So just to hydrate, it's a nice product to have, but again, not something I'm like jumping up and down about. This highlighter, I mean, once my blush is on, it looks nice and I feel like you can't really see the texture that much anymore. Um, but this definitely does emphasize texture. It's a little bit dark if you're my skin tone. Um, if you're lighter than me, you definitely could not wear this on your face. But I do, again, I love how it looks on the body. So I will continue to use this in that way. And then the star of this bag for me, honestly, is this blush. And I like it, but I'm still, like, I'm not crazy about it. But I do think it is a nice formula, I do think. These colors work well together, and I do just think it looks like soft and put together. Um, I like the packaging of it. Like I said, this retails for $30 itself, which is basically the price of this bag. Um, so, I don't know, guys. We'll see how it goes next month. I mean, I don't think there was anything in here really that was a dud. This is not a dud. It just is not a product for me, this is a very good brand, very good product, just not something that I'm wanting. But yeah, this one was just okay for me. Sometimes it goes that way. If you guys got this bag, let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys think about these products in general. Um, am I crazy? Let me know. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.